What's up, everybody? After that's crush with you once again. Um, this video is going to be a progress video. I haven't done one of these in a while, so um, basically, it's going to kind of show you the general stuff what I have going on here. Um, currently, I am at 334 pounds. Uh, have not gotten a chance to actually check my body fat percentage, um, but I, it's got to be pretty high, obviously. <laughs> So, uh, just going to show you a couple standard things and we'll kind of go from there. Fat dude with a shirt off alert. <laughs> okay, so right now I am 5 foot 11. Kind of bring this up a little bit here. Get this damn camera. Yeah. Alright, so 5 foot 11. Um, So, what you're seeing is basically my standard upper torso. Um, I have a rather long uh, torso as opposed to the chest. Um, this is all uh, no workouts in general for, for the day, except that I did like a quick walk this morning. Um, kind of side view here. This is me just kind of at rest. Of course, you know, the stomach's going to protrude a little bit. However, once I bring it in a little bit, it gets a little bit better. Um, Right now, I just came off of a pretty standard workout regime, uh, mostly stomach related, so this has shrunk a lot within the past month or so. So, uh, front double bicep here, I'm gonna bring it forward a little bit. And uh, one thing I've, I've noticed, you can actually see if you go back in some of my older videos, um, I actually have a little bit more definition up on the upper portion here. You can actually see a little bit more on the chest. Like when I, when I come in for the front most muscular, the fat on the chest has kind of gone down a lot. Um, if you had seen anything on my body space in the past, you would have noticed that uh, just a, a whole lot of just really just nothing but fat on top. Um, but uh, had the man boobies going on, unfortunately. Excuse me. And now, of course, like it looks a little worse when I'm sitting down when I stand up. Um, when I was younger, I used to have you know, the fat creases right here. Those are pretty much almost all gone, which is fan, which is great. You still kind of notice it, but it's just not as bad as it used to be. Um, traps are pretty good size right now. That's uh, something I've had really good genetics on. Um, pretty good size arms right now. You can actually see more of the muscle. Um, same with the bicep. About three months ago, I had very little to no cut. And now, of course, you can see the bicep and a little bit of the tricep on the underside. Uh, going, of course, to the main area of, uh, of where I want to go, the stomach. You can actually see in some of my older videos, when I was doing this, I had a really bad overhang because of the size of my stomach. And even though we're still pretty wide and still pretty good on the front, it is not as... Um, fatty, no. Um, I can actually do this a little bit, and this is just mainly um, kind of top fat right now, which needs to get rid of. The main thing, of course, is you know the love handles. Um, lo a lot better than they used to be, though. Shirts actually fit me now. <laughs> I can actually fit into an XL, not super comfortably, but way more comfortably than like even uh, six months ago. So. Um, of course, this is all with uh, no pump, but uh, you can actually like we'll pull it in a little bit. I can kind of see it a little like that. Which this right here, you can actually see where the the fat's kind of gone a little bit. You can actually feel the ribs here, which is a plus. I cannot tell you. <laughs> um, now for lat shot, everybody's favorite. So. There's the wide, and here is your standard. Now taking a look at, of course, all the shots that I've seen of myself, because obviously I can't look at my own back, um, it's way better than it used to be. You can actually see my upper back and start seeing some of the muscles in the upper back, 
which is fantastic. Uh, of course, still got a lot of uh, a lot of room to grow in that department. Now, legs are both a plus and a minus right now. Uh, not really gonna pull it pull it off the the holder there from my camera. However, leg wise, um, it's a tale of two stories. Uh, right now, the calf muscles been really lucky I've always had good genetics with my calves um, always really been lean uh, down in, in the calf area uh, main thing is uh, I keep growth at a minimum because I used to walk so much when I was younger I just grew these calves um, so they are very proportional to the rest of my body relatively um, however the upper portion of the legs is a little weird because I can actually, when I do a standard leg workout or when I do cardio, you can really start seeing at least some of the muscles in the leg. However, the inner thigh area is where most of the fat deposits kind of sit on, on me. Um, overall, the type of frame that I have is a very, very weird type of frame because I carry 334 pounds on my frame and I hear all the time, you know, oh, you carry your know you carry your weight really well blah 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 so I, uh, I I like to say that I get I have really good genetics and how I carry my weight um, in the past couple months since the beginning of March the uh, the workouts have become more intensive I started on the more ab intensive workouts now I'm gonna be going to a more uh, well-rounded type of workout routine where it really starts to work the whole body and really start to target other areas. So uh, the stomach, the, the muscles in the stomach are going to go down a little bit, I understand that, um, but I'm really going to work for more fat loss in the stomach area. Um, my cardio since I stopped this, uh, well, well since I did the uh, I did three weeks on the, um, on the ab plan, and the, the cardio was like interval, high intensity interval, I think it is, where you uh, uh, walk for 30 seconds, run for 15, walk for 30, for 30 run for 15, and so on and so forth. Um, uh, towards the end of that, I was kind of getting burned out on it. My body was just really not, not really digging the whole interval thing. So what I've gone back to at the moment was uh, your standard treadmill. Um, I kind of go to kind of like a brisk walk on the treadmill, um, like between three and four as far as the speed goes, but focusing on a mile to a mile and a half, um, and that's going to be standard. Um, probably within the next two weeks, I'll probably try to bump it up to two miles and try to jog a little bit, a little bit in those intervals. Um, let's see. So doing more cardio should start really burning the fat. So really an actual kind of bump up in that metabolic no time. Um, within the next month to two months, probably are gonna want to at least attempt to start doing two days. Um, mainly cardio in the morning of some sort and then the main workout in the evening or something along those lines. Um, what else? Uh, diet wise, uh, for the past, about since the beginning of March, this is the beginning of, uh, we're going towards the end of May right now, but uh, since the beginning of March, uh, really not super clean, but cleaner than we have in the past. Uh, so boneless, skinless chicken breasts in the oven with rice uh, many days out of the week. Um, and we do have our cheat days, and we do have days where we do something that's a little bit more fatty, but the chicken is the main product consumed in this household. Um, so that has really helped to uh, kind of resize my stomach a little bit, um, cover all the cravings I would have had for other things and uh, other types of foods. Um, so that will continue. Um, mainly also a tuna peanut butter to, to at least get some of those fats in. Um, but I do things like the Smart Balance peanut butter. Um, go with the natural peanut butter and take out the oil. And that'll probably be something I'm going to try to do here soon as well. Um, and just keep on that keep on that, on that tread on that trail. So the uh, 
the overall thing I'm probably going to end up doing now as far as my program goes is um, possibly work out four or sorry, work, work out five off two uh, and do one specific body part a day or double up body parts and do them twice a week yeah, I tend to feel that I, if I only do a body part once a week it tends to just drag on my week so I feel like I want to do more and I have to do more need to do more so that'll be something that we go towards um, body fat percentage don't know um, the measurements don't know <laughs> I generally don't measure but here in the future we may start doing that uh, may not I don't know yet so that is a general fitness update of what's going on here um, if you're interested, of course, in the Fireline Strong brand, I am a brand athlete, feel free to go to FirelineStrong.com. Use my promo code CRUSH20 to get 20% off your order. Um, that supports the channel. That supports the brand as well. So crack on that. And uh, we'll see all you fat freaks later. Peace out.